Hey guys, welcome and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I will be showing you how to do golden hour makeup. Let me know in the comments if you'd like to see a video on how I take my golden hour pictures by myself and feel free to check out my posts on my Instagram. For my foundation, I'm using the Beauty Blender Bounce Foundation. I'm using my MAC Fix Spray to wet my beauty blender before blending my foundation into my face. For golden hour makeup, having a high coverage foundation is the best because you don't want any imperfections or bumps on your face showing under the light which enhances those imperfections. I'm using the Innisfree Matte Mineral Pressed Setting Powder to set my foundation into my face and make sure that I don't look too oily in the sun. Next, I'm contouring with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit. I have a hack for making the placement of your bronzer more accurate, so what you want to do is move your hand closer towards the brush, almost as if you're kind of like squishing the bristles of your brush, and then apply the product onto your face. That way, it makes the product on your face more precisely placed on. Next, I'm using the Fenty Beauty Contour Stick in the shade Truffle to contour my nose. Using a stick formula contour is better for contouring smaller parts or features of your face because you're able to blend it in quicker and make it look more precise and more blended into your skin. For my brows, I'm using the ABH Dip Brow Pomade in the shade Medium Brown. First, I start off by lining the bottom of my eyebrow arch, and then I do small strokes towards the tail of my eyebrow. After I'm done with that, I tend to fill in the rest of my eyebrows. I usually use the ABH eyebrow pencil and I feel like it gives off a more natural look for your eyebrows whereas the dip brow kind of accentuates and makes your eyebrows a little bolder. After I'm done filling in my eyebrows, I use a spoolie to brush up my eyebrow hairs. Next I'm using the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer to carve up my eyebrows. Next, I'm using this L'Oreal lip liner to line the cupid's bow of my lip and the bottom of my bottom lip. I try to avoid overlining my lips and instead I line the line of my lips because whenever I overline my lips, they tend to look a bit unnatural. For my lips, I'm using this Innisfree Velvet Lip Tint in shade 10. This lipstick is a little bit drying, so I tend to put a lip balm underneath it. I'm using the orangey shades from the James Charles Morphe palette to create a gradient sunset on my eyes. First, I start by blending a orangey color towards the outer corner of my eyelids. Next, I'm using an orangey brown eyeshadow and placing that on the bottom of my orange eyeshadow. Mm -hmm. 
To create depth, I'm using a dark brown eyeshadow and I'm blending that at the bottom of my eyelid. I'm placing a gold eyeshadow onto the center of my eyelid to make my eyes pop. I'm creating a wing at the corner of my eye using the Kat Von D eyeliner. I really recommend using this black duo eyelash glue as it makes your eyes look as if you have eyeliner on it. I'm adding some color to my under eyes using the same brown orangey eyeshadow as I did before. For my highlight, I'm using this Too Faced Rainbow Highlighter. I'm applying the highlight to the high points of my face where the light catches, such as my cheekbones, my nose, and my cupid's bow. To finish my makeup off, I'm using the MAC Fix Spray. That's it for today's video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. I hope you enjoyed watching.